On Making Creativity Matter, we will be looking at the misconceptions about Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh cut his ear off. Though this mis may seem a bit obscure, it was he actually only cut off his ear lobe and not the entirety of his ear. Vincent van Gogh was crazy. Even though he had attacks with hallucinations where he would hear voices, Vincent van Gogh was not always like this. All his attacks occurred in the last two years of his life. Vincent van Gogh's madness fueled his art. Between attacks, he had phases of complete lucidity in which he would finally gain back his strength enough to work. Vincent van Gogh never sold a single painting. He actually sold one painting a few months before his death. Vincent van Gogh was completely unrecognized during his lifetime for his work. Vincent's work actually got its first review in 1890 and it was incredibly positive. Vincent van Gogh was entirely self-taught. Vincent had several serious mentors and tutors in, his pa in painting before he took painting courses in both Antwerp and Paris. Vincent van Gogh was poor. While Vincent lived in poverty, his brother Theo did send him enough money to live and eat, but Vincent spent most of it on canvas, paint, and models. Vincent van Gogh was always a painter and had never considered another career. Vincent initially attempted to be an art stealer like his brother Theo would become, and like many of the men in his family were. Vincent van Gogh had no friends. Vincent actually had many friends. In Paris, he made friends with numerous artists, particularly Toulouse Lautrec and Paul Gauguin. Thanks for watching this week's segment. Join us next time. Created using Powtoon.